Hello, I'm KPRC Channel 2 meteorologist Cambrell Marshall. Merry Christmas, everyone. We've got a record Merry Christmas on our hands. This morning, the low temperature was only 74 degrees. That's warmer than it's ever been on Christmas Day for a low temperature. The afternoon high temperature record is 82, set back in 1964. Saturday's high temperature record is 78 degrees, set back on 2005. Both of those records likely to fall. So warm weekend for sure. We've got a lot of moisture going on here. You can see the moisture coming up out of the Gulf. Heaviest rain is off to the east of us. That's part of the issue that's going to be going on throughout the weekend. There's no uh, let up in sight for them as we see all of this heading over to the east. All of this front action here. We're part of a warm front. It's going to be sliding back to the north ahead of the warm front. Warm temperatures 81 in Houston, 79 Jackson, 72. But look, 45 in St. Louis, 43 in Wichita, and even colder temperatures on the back side of that. That's part of what's going to create a big mess on Sunday. This warm front's going to work its way back to the north both today and through the weekend. And then as we get to Sunday, we start to see this area of low pressure starting to interact with this front. That means on Sunday, we'll have strong storms developing right through here, right along the line. And we have the separation of warm and moist and cold and drier. On the back side of that, that colder air is really going to be drawing in. And in the panhandle, We'll have blizzard conditions, very cold temperatures. All of that's going to be a part of our issue. Not the blizzard, but the colder air is really going to work its way in. We've got a future cast model. We'll put this in motion for you. This shows 9 o'clock on Sunday morning, and this shows that a lot of the heaviest rain is well to our north at that time with light showers ahead of that. But, you know, this is a couple of days away. So the, goal, the rule of thumb is that expect, if you see any greens in here at all, expect that it could be strong storms ahead of it. But look, as we go through four, o'clock, five o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. This particular model has this really hammering Houston area in the middle of the afternoon on Sunday. I've seen faster models that have come through and had this starting a lot earlier on Sunday morning, moving on through midday through Sunday afternoon and being done early in the evening on Sunday. So we just have to know that we're going to have this coming through on Sunday and on the back side of it, it's going to be colder. We've got the snow conditions in the panhandle. For us, we'll see colder temperatures as a result of that. When the storm comes through, strong winds, 40 to 60 mile an hour, a gust possible, chance for an isolated tornado is possible as well, with one to two inches of rain widespread are expected. Possibility of having heavier amounts in isolated areas with feeder roads flooded and also the chance for hail. So keep that in mind as you make your weekend plans. Just know that this weekend we're going to continue to be very warm. 82 degrees for today going into Saturday. I think we'll hit 80, 40% uh, chance of rain for Saturday. Rain chances really go up on Sunday as this front comes through, 72 degrees. Then a lot of that depends on how quickly this front comes through. If it takes its time coming through, this high temperature will be warmer ahead of the front. If it comes through quicker, then this temperature will be lower. But on the back side of it, we know we're going to cool off pretty quickly. Going into Monday morning, 42 degrees, then the colder air settles in. Highs in the 50s, lows in the 30s. And look at that New Year's Eve on Thursday. Slight chances of rain going into the new year, but it's going to be colder at least than it is on Christmas Day. Get out and enjoy. Merry Christmas again, everyone.